Hey guys, Abby here, just coming at you with a quick video to spotlight a new weapon in the DLC if you guys haven't seen it yet. It is the Ion Laser, this guy right here. It is a Malawan SMG that can do some massive damage with a simple trick that I'm going to show you guys. It comes in all elements. You get two elements on the weapon that you can switch between. That's the Malawan feature right here. So we've got shock and then we can switch it to cry we can switch back and forth depending on what the enemy type is and this weapon is so powerful you guys it's a really fun laser weapon it's kind of like the laser sploder it's gonna ramp up in damage as you keep firing so even though it only says 177 on the card let me see if I have any other uh, I have a one more in here this one is 257 so you can find ones that are a lot higher I actually farmed a little bit more for this ion laser and I've been able to get 245, 257, 269, 231, and this 177. So definitely be on the lookout for 200 plus, preferably one above 250. That would be a top tier damage roll. And you can get these big damage rolls on smaller magazines and you can get them on somewhat larger magazines like this one we've got a magazine size of 48 and it's a 231 damage so that's on the higher end of the scale for that you can also get parts on this weapon that boost the elemental effects as well so i've been farming for an anointed one that has a 305% cryo efficiency. This one has 252. It did not get that elemental part. You can see in my other ion laser, let's take a look at this one. This one is an escapable ion laser. This one is a shock and radiation, which isn't as good because shock and radiation kind of do well against shields. You want to pair elements that do good against different things. So you would want a shock and cryo or a corrosive and fire or something like that. So if we switch this to cryo, let me reload here and I'll show you it shoots in a laser beam like this, very similar to the laser splitter. It also kind of um, auto aims a little bit. So if the enemy's here and you shoot here, it will pull to that enemy a li slightly a little bit. As I start shooting it down, you go for about four seconds and let go. You're going to get some orbs at the end. They do deal splash damage. So increasing your splash damage with Moe's or with perks on your artifact and class mod are going to increase it. If you only hold it down a little bit, you'll get two. If you hold it down a little bit longer, You'll get four, you'll get, you know, three, four, etc. You get these little splash bubbles. Now, the cool thing about this, I'm going to give you guys a little tip. Killer6 mentioned it in his video, but it was within the entire weapon review. So I want to make sure that you guys know about this. So what you want to do is hold it down long enough to get the max orbs. And then you're going to pulse your trigger like this, and it's going to shoot out a bunch of orbs and they're all going to do a lot of splash damage so that's the way to kind of get the most damage out of this weapon super fun and awesome i'm really loving this weapon it's really great in cryo if you have a lot of cryo efficiency because it helps those little orbs it will help freeze heftier targets so yeah you definitely want a bigger magazine is my thought on this just so that you can get more of those orbs out let's try it on this guy right here it's time to fight so we had a cryo barrel there, so that helps. But we just do that. Easy peasy. That guy's dead. Pop that guy. And then you can keep shooting it afterwards, but I have noticed that if you do like a pulse and then you go back to shooting immediately and the the laser doesn't really break on it. Distract them you'll notice that you can't do the pulsing as much like it seems like you have to disconnect it completely in order to keep abusing that pulse of the splash damage all right i'm also going to show you guys how it works on a rare spawn as well because this will kind of illustrate my point a little bit more he'll here's l dragoons we hold it down and then boom all right guys here we go against tront let's see how this guy works I keep forgetting to grab grenades. Oops. Oh. Well. 
Come back here with the stupid walls. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty powerful trick. We're gonna rag attack. We're gonna shoot this laser straight at the front and then we're gonna pulse it. Look at the pulses, oh my gosh. So as you guys can see, the ion laser can be a super powerful weapon when placed in the right hands. It could be probably even more powerful if you made a build around it with splash damage, boosting, uh, SMG damage and stuff like that. If you want to farm this weapon, you're going to want to go to the Spendopticon in the DLC in the Handsome Jackpot. You spawn in here at the Market District is the fast travel point, and then you're going to run all the way over here. There is a save point right under these stairs here, and you're going to go to the Mayor's Killer Look, Evil St. Lawrence. That is who drops it. So we're going to go right here. He comes out of that main door. Oops, I didn't switch to cryo, but that's all right. And that's hunt. it. And he has a chance to drop it. Right down here is the save point for this. This guy right here. You spawn in here, run out, run up the stairs, and you get to the mayor's killer look. All right, guys, that's it for me. Just a quick little explanation of this gun and how to massively improve the damage. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.